Hello folks, this is Ayatin Acha from InspireToRise.com and today we have something really special for you guys. Uh, you might have seen this on very limited forums or channels till now. This is something which is marked confidential. This is the Intel Core 9980XC i9 Extreme Edition which has 18 cores, 36 threads, runs really, really fast and has huge performance on almost all of the cores. Today we are going to test this one. Today we are going to show you its gaming performance, benchmarks and a lot of other things about this specific chipset over here. So I feel really scared while holding this because it's almost 1 lakh rupees. Uh, now nah, I won't drop this. It's my life on the line. But still you get a lot of performance with this 18 cores, 36 threads. And in order to use something like this, you need a good motherboard which can handle almost all of this so today's video features rs x299 gaming 7 pro motherboard which has really good performance and allows you to overclock this cpu which we couldn't do because of time constraints hit thumbs up for that and we will show you almost everything in this video so guys let's begin So guys, the motherboard that we are using here is the X299 gaming motherboard which comes with RGB fusion, digital LED, triple M2 with thermal guard and this also comes with rear USB 3.1 generation type C which means that you won't be limited in terms of ports. You can put up to 4 graphic cards on this system but because of the fact that we were using a 2080 Ti, we didn't use anything else than that and we used around 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and the processor, you know already the processor 9980XC. The overall system had almost no bottleneck. The SSDs we used were of top class. Almost everything was good. But because of time constraints, we didn't put a whole specific cabinet build for this. We built a test bench for this, as you can see here, and set up all of the things. Even in order to boot, we had to use a screwdriver because we didn't have any other mechanism. We had to short those small pins over there. You see those small pins in order to start the system. System, but then when it got started after that the performance was really different you can almost feel how snappy this is we will show you all of the benchmarks so you can see over here the Cinebin scores which is almost the best in class and when compared to the AMD uh, chipsets which is the Threadripper which comes with similar number of cores and similar number of performance the single core lead is always there in Intel chipsets and that's something for which you pay a huge premium so uh, if this is justified or not, that's a question for us. Very separate other video, but still, you can see that the overall performance is really good, even in the CPU Z benchmarks. And the multi core is definitely better than even in 7980XC, which was from the previous generation Extreme Edition processors. In terms of single core, also, it's good. For this specific video, we use the Corsair H100i liquid cooler, but because of time constraints, we were not able to overclock the CPU and also because of the fact that this was a test bench and we were not properly setting everything up. So we didn't get the time to overclock the CPU in order to get the maximum single core performance that was achievable. But all of the benchmark scores are indicative of the fact that this still has really good performance and even for 4K encoding and a lot of other stuff, it's really good. This is a processor meant for content creators, meant for people who have a lot of parallel task needs and who have workloads which scale up across all of these scores. Even if I talk about gaming, the overall performance in something like CSGO which is a CPU intensive game was really good. We were using 2080 Ti which is definitely a top of the line graphic card and still we were playing CSGO. Shame on us. But on CSGO with 1080p and everything set to the maximum possible limit, 8x anti-aliasing and everything else, we got really good frames per second, almost 240 plus all of the time and no stutter, no lags whatsoever. So if you want really bottleneck free gaming, you can go for a product like this, but I won't recommend a product like this for gaming because it's meant for severely better workloads. But the final thing comes around to the whole, the thing comes around to the fact that how much price are you paying for this? You get a lot of performance and this is an absolutely insane product. It's meant for those people who are looking to be on the bleeding edge of 
almost the whole performance thing and those who don't want to update the system for maybe like next four or five years people who are gonna run a lot of parallel processes people who want to encode a video stream simultaneously play a game simultaneously those people who can benefit from the massive number of co-count these are the people who should look for an extreme edition processor like this but for everybody else who is happy with a six core and an eight core setup you can always look to the team red and even the team blue has really good options in those price segments when you go a little below and get less number of cores but for everybody else who is really on the lookout for performance whose workload scales well across multiple number of cores you guys are the ones who are the target audience for a product like this and you have to think carefully before investing in a product like this because it's not just the processor itself you have to invest in a compatible motherboard with a lg2066 socket you have to invest in better class memory so that nothing bottlenecks this you have to invest in a good graphic card so that you get best performance possible so i think that anybody who has that sort of application needs they can go for this otherwise there are plenty fish in the sea so guys this was it for this video in case you like this one don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to inspire twice for more awesome tech videos like this one and guys no matter what you do stay inspired twice